Hey, this is Mark. Today I'm going to show you how I would use a query parameter and a lot of forms. So this is one simple form. And if you look at the URL, there are no query variables tacked on to the end. Okay, so if you just click on a link to this page, so if I had this in a page on my website, I would just see this. Now, if we tack on a query parameter variable, it would look something like this. And if I pass it something like hello world, we'll see that the form doesn't change visibly. But if we inspect the hidden fields, so I've got a hidden field, two actually, but we're going to just look at one. I'll see that there's something called my request parameter and the value is now hello world coming in from the URL. Okay, so that's one way to use it. The other interesting way to use it is maybe to use some conditional logic. So instead of passing in hello world, behind the scenes I have some conditional logic to, to do something if I pass in happy days. And now when that page gets reloaded, the form is going to process that conditional logic, see happy days, and say, oh, there's a condition here to, to show a, a text area. All right. And the value should also change the hidden field value. So we'll double check that. And the value now is happy days. Okay. Now what's behind the scenes? Let's look at the form itself, uh, the text area field here and the hidden field. I have two, but we're just going to look at this first one. This is pretty much where the magic happens, as they say. These are the labels. The name is my request parameter. We saw that earlier. I think the only way you could set the field value is by using a request parameter. I'm using a get method. The query variable itself is called MRP. We saw that earlier in the link. And that's pretty much it for here. The text area field, this is as the conditional logic. All right. Nothing fancy here. But in the conditional, I added a new logic here and I say well based on this request parameter and you could select that uh, because it's a field in the form I'm going to say if it's equal to happy days then display this field all right that's pretty much it for that uh, the last thing is is the post itself I just include the, the Vada form so nothing interesting well too interesting going on in there it's basically all in the form and the URL Hope that helps. Thanks.